I remember just sitting in the hotel rooms before the shows with like the most crippling anxiety and I didn't even know what anxiety was at that time. Like I'd never felt those feelings. And then like you go play a show and it's like this brand new thing and it's this huge amount of energy that comes at you and it's like almost too, too much to know what to do with. To move from a reclusive computer guy to a public facing artist and trying to grapple with that was like intense. I feel like I had to change a lot personally just to keep up. Everything happened very quickly. It was record labels calling, it was management calling, it was agents calling, and touring, touring for him became hard. I, I, you know, I can't imagine touring alone. There was definitely times, you know, sitting in a hotel room before a show alone in a city I've never been to. Just kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I am pretty open about, I have like a counselor now, and I think every artist honestly should have one. Um, she's been great, and I think it's important to like get that kind of help. And she's helped me kind of identify, you know, that probably was anxiety that I was feeling. I just thought that was part of the process, and honestly for me, it, it kind of still is. It's just part of the process, but it was really hard early on doing that alone before Emma was traveling with me. One day we sat down, I think after a really long tour he had come home from, and we both agreed, you know, this needs, this needs more support, and I made the decision to quit my career and go on the road with him for a period of time. I also didn't just want to be on the road rooting him on, you know, I felt like if I'm going to be here, I want to really support you and I want to I want to learn what I can do to help this touring process because this is a whole new world. We've met some of the most brilliant minds along the way in the last 10 years and I'm I'm so proud to it's not a conventional family but it's a family. When we first started working together, he sat in a very unique space. He had been on bus tours. He had been on, on the road. He had supported other acts on the road. And so I think he got a real good taste on what he liked to do and what he didn't like to do on the road. And so, the first incarnation was he wanted to have fun and do cool things on the road. For me, bus tours are kind of like summer camp. It's kind of like the time for me to go out and do as much fun stuff as I possibly can. I've kind of made it my goal to like really take that opportunity of being in a new city every day to do something fun every day. Yeah, we stay busy on the road for sure. And then we somehow manage to play a show and stay up late, late, you know, doing our thing. Milestones were many, from you know supporting at a Bill Graham show to headlining and selling it out. Shoreline Amphitheater, Red Rocks, instant sellout. Every tour that was on the road, we have achieved a new milestone for the Seven Lions project. 
It's kind of a hard feeling to explain because like you're exhausted, you're tired, you're like, how am I gonna do this? But as soon as you get up on stage, it's like everything snaps into focus, everything becomes okay. It's like all these things that have built up in your hours of no sleep and these annoyances and this like, how am I gonna do this, these doubts, it's like they all just, it's crazy.